This video is kindly sponsored by Parade. I am super excited to be working with Parade on today's video. Parade is an inclusive, woman-owned brand that makes sustainable, affordable, and high-quality basics for everyone. I was super excited when Parade reached out because it was high time that I upgrade some of my underwear. I am neglectful, and I'm sure some of y'all are as well. I feel like I have had the same underwear kind of like languishing in my drawers for a while, and I needed to kind of like upgrade things, refresh things. You should be refreshing things like fairly often, in my humble opinion. When it comes to undergarments, Parade makes some incredible stuff in a variety of different textures and fabrics and I was super excited to be able to like pick out various things from the site in my preferred color. One way that I like to like simplify my life personally is to have all of my underwear in the same color. You'll notice that the items that I have picked out and the items I've been using over the past few weeks are all in black. I really love black. I like that it makes getting ready easy in the morning and everything kind of mixes and matches really well. The items that I have been loving the most are the Perfect Lace Plunge Bralette, which is accommodating even for bigger cup sizes. I might not look like it, but I am a bigger cup size girly, so I really need something that's going to support support me and uh, give me good coverage. I really like this bralette too because it covers like even the sides of my boobs. I personally don't like my boobs like spilling over the sides of any sort of cup and this is so comfortable, so sexy, and really cute. Let me see if I can like get up close so you can actually see the detail. But that lace star detail is super soft, super comfortable, and is something that I personally feel comfortable wearing all day. And I also love the thong which matches perfectly. It's a nice high cut which is something that I personally really like. I think it's really flattering and very comfy. And then I also uh, kind of branched out into a fabric and a material that I don't typically pick, and that would be satin. I really love the Glow Luxe Satin that Parade does. It is super silky soft, and it's made from soft recycled fibers. So this is the Luminous Lace Triangle Bralette. I don't know if you can see how pretty the details are. I will get some nice b-roll in here so you can actually see what this looks like. Again, super supportive. It's got the perfect band on the bottom to give you a little bit of support. No underwire, of course. And then to match, I got the Radiant Glow Flutter Cheeky. I decided to branch out a little bit and not just get a thong to accompany <laughs> that bralette. Uh, and these are so, so cute on, and they look really, really cute with that bralette. So like I said, I have been wearing these beautiful bra and panty combos over the past couple of weeks, and I will say it has been such a confidence booster to have things that feel really, really incredible on the body and that also fit me very well. Again, I got all of these items in the color 8-ball, which is their black color, uh, but I think one of the most fun things about Parade is that they do have a variety of colors as well if you're looking to like mix and match or you're someone who's like into maybe slightly more exciting color combos than I am. Um, but again, I like like that Parade is accommodating to like whatever you are looking for. If you'd like to try Parade out for yourself, they are offering my audience 25% off with code CHANDLER25, and that code is good site-wide. I believe there's no order minimum as well. I'll leave a link in the description, obviously, to Parade. Again, use the code CHANDLER25, and I'll also leave a link to all of my favorites that I've picked out from Parade. You definitely deserve to treat yourself. Thanks again to Parade for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Hello from my beautiful clippies. It is Tuesday, the Tuesday after Labor Day when I am starting this here vlog. I am in my favorite spot <laughs> to do some makeup. I already did my foundation, concealer, and powder, which is why I'm looking particularly ghostly. I love starting off my vlogs here. You know, I was thinking about this today. What makes something cozy, comforting tradition that I like continue to do in every video or what makes it boring? So y'all let me know if you find this segment of the vlogs boring and maybe I will do something a little different in the future. But I don't know, for me, I just love starting my weeks, my vlogs here 
so that's what I'm gonna do for this video. I feel like I have a fair amount to update y'all on and that's kind of why I wanted to sit here. I feel like at the beginning of the week I always have stuff that's going on and stuff to say and I will say the first thing I'm going to update you on is that I am proud of myself <laughs> for once in my life. That's okay that's a bit of an exaggeration. I've definitely been proud of myself in the past but I feel like for the past three, four, five, I don't know, maybe all ten of these past vlogs, I feel like I have been a little bit down on myself for not being as uh, productive and not being as on top of things. I just feel like my life has been not in my control and I felt a little bit chaotic and just kind of running all over the place and feeling like I'm running myself ragged and just not really loving the results of that. And over the past few days, I feel like I've kind of turned things around. Eating at home more often, which has really been making me feel good both physically and mentally. We've been eating lunches and dinners at home. I feel like I picked a really good menu for last week. If you haven't watched that vlog, obviously it's linked in the description and there's a whole playlist of vlogs. Um, I number all of these, by the way. I am someone who loves to go back and watch other people's videos, but sometimes it can be hard to find where to start and I wanted y'all to like have a good place to start, you know, vlog one. But these past few days, like I was trying to say, um, I feel like I'm, I'm getting my life together. I'm eating at home more, which has been awesome. The menu last week was really great. And then also I have been just a little bit more productive. I haven't been hyper productive. I haven't been running myself ragged, but I feel like I've been getting stuff done. I'm actually setting y'all on a set of books <laughs> that I'm reading for an I Read 5 video that's going live tomorrow, hopefully. I've been productive in reading for that video, but I haven't been being so much that I am unable to do other things and to where I'm feeling like I don't like my life. I've also been watching TV with Hayden at night. We like had dessert and watched second and third episodes of Wheel of Time last night. It just felt really good to, yeah, like balance both productivity and also um, enjoyment <laughs> over the past couple of days. And especially yesterday. Yesterday was Labor Day. I didn't vlog at all, which was really nice. Just having that day off and it's nice now to like get back to things and feel good. My house is clean. It smells great. I've been burning candles um, and I'm just, I'm feeling good. I also feel like I've gotten a lot of the hard things done. I need to head of IVF. So I'm going to do an IVF update right here. Uh, and I think this will be the only one in this vlog. But um, at the tail end of last week, I think I updated the vlog and was talking about how I was a little bit frustrated at just kind of the way things were going. I had to reschedule a trip because of IVF. It felt not lied to, but a little bit misled on timelines and exactly like what we would have to do to prep for IVF. But I feel like we're back on track. I was able to successfully reschedule that vacation and I might have said that in the last vlog, but rescheduled that vacation and today I actually am working on getting some like dinner reservations back on the books for Disney. One thing that I feel like I've talked about kind of briefly um, and I don't want to go into like too many details. I'm not sure like how much I, I really want to share about this, but I have talked about how we are potentially using donor material, male donor material as backup for a potential IVF cycle. Um, that was one of the requirements of our clinic, not that we use donor material, but that we get it uh, shipped to the cryo facility, I guess, head of potential IVF cycle. Even, even before the egg retrieval, they really wanted to make sure before starting the process of stims, they wanted to make sure that they had that material. So last week was really chaotic for me and I felt a little overwhelmed because I was trying to organize not only picking out don donor material, which is a really emotional process that I didn't expect to be emotional. Not only was that, you know, stressful, I also had to coordinate shipment and talk to my fertility clinic and the cryo clinic and just like all of these different parties to like organize things. It was more stressful than I had anticipated and it just really wasn't very fun, obviously. Like it's just not a fun process to have to go through, but that is now complete, which is awesome. It, I feel like we have everything in, in line for IVF to start. I had a conversation last week with someone on my utility team. Like we have a doctor and then a team of nurses. I was talking to one of the nurses and she was saying, basically y'all are ready to go when your next period starts. And when your next period starts, you need to be on hormonal birth control for two weeks. So my period is supposed to start this week. I don't think I've ever been anticipatory of a period as I am this time around. I'm just really hoping it starts relatively on time, which is like, you know, a big if when you have um, PCOS. Essentially, my clinic will call in a prescription for birth control for me that same day whenever I start my period. Like, obviously, that's not that big of a deal. Like, it's not really something that is stressful in and of itself. But I'm like, oh my god, what happens if I don't start my period on time and instead I start my period on Sunday? Like, what happens then. It really, it really doesn't matter, girl. And also, I don't think that's going to happen. And even if it did, like, I'm sure that there's a way around it. Like, I could definitely reach out to my clinic. It's such a balancing act trying to get the information I need and want while also not being irritating. That's definitely not something that should be going through my mind. But when you're already, like, really anxious, have a lot on your mind, that definitely goes through your head. You're like, God, I really don't want to be annoying. No one has ever given me attitude about the questions I've asked. So I don't know why that, like, crosses my mind. But it's just something that I've, like, been thinking of <laughs> more often recently. Hope that my period starts on time this week. That's really it. Um, 
Um, and it's kind of crazy. Like I just, we're starting this, you know what I mean? Like this process is really getting real. And I think, you know, once I'm on birth control and like once my period started, I think I'm going to feel like uh, confirmation really sink in and settle in. Essentially the way it works, by the way, that you're on hormonal birth control for about two weeks so that all of your eggs and ovaries are suppressed. Because usually the way it works in like a normal menstrual cycle is that all of your follicles are like competing <laughs> to release the best egg. Like whichever one has the most mature, most ready egg is the one that releases the egg, the follicle that is. Birth control suppresses all of your follicles so that you start at the same baseline. It's the way IVF works as you pump yourself full of hormones so that all of your follicles will grow at the same time and that they will all hopefully have mature eggs in them. That's, you know, a simplification, but basically. Uh, and then they do the egg retrieval. So I am just waiting for my period. I am waiting for my period, waiting to get on birth control. I feel like I'm in a really good place, but I'm also just like eating. And I'm also like, this is stressful because I'm anxious. I think the anxiety is probably not helping my period start on time. So, you know, it's, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing that I'm, that I'm emotionally dealing with, but it's fine. But I think that's probably the only update I'll really have for you this week, unless my period starts uh, on time, which is a big fucking if. It's supposed to start tomorrow. I don't think it will. I think it's going to start like Thursday, Friday, if that. But if it does, I'll let you know. I'm applying more makeup today than I have been with my uh, hair like this. I feel like the biggest change that I have had since getting the bangs is that I have been doing slightly different lip colors and I have been kind of playing it safe and easy with the eye makeup. I don't know. I just feel like with a kind of severe heavy bang, doing really heavy eye makeup like doesn't necessarily look the best on me at least. So that being said, I'm using a Natasha Denona palette. This is the Mini Glam palette. Again, trying to like satisfy my urge to buy that new um, eyeshadow palette that came out that I shouldn't buy because it's like $70. I've yet to pay over. This week on the agenda, we have that I read five video to finish up, which is my game plan for today. Probably won't vlog very much today, except for maybe our lunch and our dinner. Don't know what I'm gonna be reading this week, but I definitely want to read some more romance. I don't know what it'll be, but I do have some audiobooks checked out for my library. They're actually good for once. Actually books that I wanna read, so I'll probably do that. I will say I've been having a hankering for fantasy after starting Wheel of Time. I'm, uh, season two on Amazon. I'm like, do I want to get back in my fantasy era? We'll see. I don't know. I'm, I'm leaving it open for myself to read a couple of books this vlog. Also, I believe have a Patreon exclusive vlog going live this week. I think. I actually am not sure. You know, I could look that up. I do have a calendar. Yes, I do have a vlog that's supposed to go live Saturday, so I need to work on that. Other than that, I think I'm mostly chilling. I could probably start in on my age gap romance vlog that's going live the following week. Um, it's another one of those trope vlogs. I haven't done a trope vlog in about a month, and I just have been missing it. I've really been missing it, so I am excited to start in on one of those. Basically, a lot of reading to do, and I'm trying to, again, pace myself and just really enjoy the books that I'm reading. I found a comfy rhythm over the past couple of days. I've been sitting in my living room, burning a candle, and just like enjoying, just enjoying and being present in the moment. I know that all sounds very silly. I've been letting my anxiety and my worries just really like overtake me. It's been really nice to just do what I need to do, but also relax while doing it and enjoying the things around me. Like I have a beautiful home. I have amazing cats. I have a great husband. Like, you know, just really taking it all in, being appreciative, practicing gratitude. I haven't started in <laughs> on like gratitude journaling again, but I did set up my planner today as well. And I'm hoping that I start using my daily pages, my hobo cousin, just the planner that I use, by the way. Kind of would like to start regularly journaling because life's wild. And I would like to document this time so that again, I can like look back on it and feel like life was so different a year ago. This time next year, we'll be a little kid my arm or something like that and it'll, it'll all feel worth it but um, it would be cool to document that. I'm gonna go. I will keep you posted. I'm gonna do my makeup and my hair and um, hopefully look cute-ish today. I don't, we'll see. I'm wearing my new sweater. Hello. <clears throat> I look like the man from Stranger Things. How are y'all doing today? It's Which Thursday. Name is that? Eddie Munson. I don't know. Anyways. I've never even seen the show. I just look like him. I just wanted to pop in and say hey. I haven't read any fucking books. Don't know what a book is. Never read a book in my life. Finished the I Read 5 mystery thriller video. I'll leave that in the description down below. I don't know what the fuck's going on, but no views which is valid i guess but i thought it was a fun video so if you like want to hear my thoughts on some actual books which i know some of you do i'll leave a link in the description to that i don't and you know what you know what it is probably i actually just thought about it i edited that video and hayden didn't edit the video mm -hmm. i think that's why it's not doing well is because hayden really puts his whole odyssey into things and makes everything more fun so. yeah also on that note i've decided to just not talk in videos anymore oh yeah it why would just that? it would just make it easier for me to edit later <laughs> welcome to my fucking world i've been telling him this for years he yeah. didn't understand until he had to start editing himself. So I'm gonna become the kind of person that speaks seldomly, but seldomly. But oh, oh, you think you're gonna have something important to say? That's important. No, but seldom. 
Oh. How's your Thursday going? How's your week going? Oh, you're going to make me talk? I know that you said you don't want to talk, but I think sadly we're going to need your contribution here because like, I don't read books. So what am I supposed to say? You say, how's my week? You know what? Actually, I will tell you what book I'm going to read while Hayden gathers his thoughts. I think I'm going to read, is it Morbidly Yours? It looks cute. Y'all recommended this to me by y'all and me to my patrons. Morbidly Yours by Ivy Fairbanks. It's a Kindle Unlimited book and it looks really cute. I think he's like an undertaker. He's about to undertake that pussy. So I'll be there for that. <laughs> Still nothing over there? Are you asking me about my week? Yeah, I am. So um, it looks like I'm wearing no pants. I am, by the way, if anyone's curious. My Viore shorts is what I'm wearing. The Viore plug? Are you sponsored? How oh, cool that would be. That'd be sick as fuck. Yeah, we would love so some sick. free loungewear. Uh, Yo, how's your week going, bud? My week, pretty boring, I mm -hmm. would say. He got his groceries? yesterday yeah super exciting he slayed that i haven't really done all that much i've been working a lot and doing other things same i think that's the thing that's like fucking me down lately is like my job is jobbing pretty hard and yeah. i also like i don't know i've been struggling to like find things to read i don't know what it is i'm not an indec i'm not an indecisive person but i've really been struggling to like figure out what the fuck to read i'll like finish a video that i've been like working hard on and then i'm like wait fuck what the what do i read next if it's not specifically like a tbr for a video do i read mm -hmm. and for this video i always feel like i have a hard time figuring out what to read I'm like, oh, I could just read whatever I want. Do I want to read? That's the real fucking question. I think that is a question that I don't know how to answer. <laughs> I feel that because whenever we were reading Throne of Glass, mm -hmm. I was putting off reading the last book yeah. in the Hyperion series. I started listening to it and I haven't been listening to it just because... I got so used to putting off listening to it that I started doing other things during the time when I would normally listen, and I've just been continuing to do those things instead and haven't really been listening to my book very much. Yeah. I'll find some time to do it. So the only other thing is like, now I gotta... <coughs> Things. I'm okay. You gotta think of some things to spend my, you know, new employee compensation on. Compensation? What sort of compensation are we looking for? I don't think we worked out the benefits package for Hayden's employment. Yeah, we have His Chandler Ainsley employment. We don't have to work it out. It's just, you know, sometimes I need a cookie or a toy, you know? Sometimes, Make that cookie or a toy happen, my Sometimes guy. I we need will. a treat. <laughs> Make the treats happen. Two things that I just thought of as Hayden was talking. One, we are actually out because we need to get mushrooms. Uh, not the, like, you know, psychedelic kind. In fact, the opposite. Trying to get from Whole Foods. We're going to Whole Foods to get some like fancy mushrooms because we have a couple of mushroom dishes for lunches and dinners. Mm -hmm. I think mostly just dinners. Pizza and a risotto. I also wanted to get some Christmas garland. Okay. Because there's Christmas garland on sale right now. I keep seeing this bitch on my Instagram. And I'm sorry, this looks cool as fuck. Like I want this in my front, in my front yard and I need it. I've never had the gumption nor the be able to pay someone to put Christmas lights on my house. So... I think that's still the case now. I, however, would like my area, like my, you know, porch or whatever to look cute for Christmas. And I thought this was a cute idea and I think I'm gonna do it. On a smaller scale than uh, this girl does it, but like I wanna do that. Some garland on sale. And I know, I know what you're thinking, but it's not even October. Um, That's true. But you know what? You gotta think ahead. Cause last, last year I caught, caught wind of some garland and I went to buy it and it was no longer there. Chandler doesn't believe in seasons. Only season is season of my enjoyment, you know? Mm -hmm. Like what am I enjoying? What do I wanna buy? I'm gonna buy it. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter what the weather is. Well, I was also just talking about decorating the house. That's a fuck, you know? Outside doesn't matter. Inside, inside matters. Outside my house, too. Like, you know, the front porch, but mm -hmm. the, the weather is not going to stop me. Yeah, we should just put up Christmas lights now. Yeah, they won't let us do that. Actually. They, they let some of the neighbors. <laughs> no, those people got in trouble. <laughs> yeah, like, I, our HOA doesn't let us put up Christmas lights until 45 days before, which coincidentally is, like, my birthday, so... I mean, really doesn't matter because we've never put up Christmas lights before, so... But, I mean, like, exterior decorations, I think, kind of goes with that, so I can do my stuff on my birthday. Gordlands. Mm -hmm. So this is, like, an early birthday present to me. I have something in my eye now. Something floated into my eye while we were filming. Well, I mean, that's just part of the course, you know? Yeah, it's awesome. Oh, the last thing I was gonna say before we pop over to get the Gordlands. I just like saying Gordland. It's more fun than Garland. We're going to see Bottoms tomorrow, and I'm fucking hyped. And he has no idea what it is, I don't think. No, He's I don't along see for the trailers. fucking ride. I literally have no clue what movies are coming out or are out in the theater at any time. Yeah, I don't I don't I watch don't really trailers. Either. I don't see ads cuz uh we got YouTube Premium, so. <laughs> I really broke down about Premium recently. Mostly cuz uh a guy I worked with a couple years ago bullied me. <laughs> He's 
You got bullied for not having YouTube Premium? He was like, the dumbest subscription listen, service listen, you can pay for? Listen, you know what he said? He was like, how do you have a YouTube channel and not pay for YouTube Premium? And I was like, you know what? You're fucking oh. right. That's kind of sad. You're like, because I'm so into YouTube for, for making money, not spending money. That's true. I think, I don't, come out of my AdSense or is it, do I pay for it no, separately? No, you pay I don't, for it separately. I don't know, but no, I only you got gotta it. spend money to make money. I something. only got it because I started the free trial when we took our trip to New York so mm -hmm. that I could download some YouTube videos to watch on the plane. And now you're just hooked. Well, then I realized or how nice it was it's to nice. not have ads. It's pretty nice. That's like honestly the biggest thing. I don't use any of the other features. It's just the fact that I don't have to click the skip <laughs> ad button. But the thing that really irritated me about ads. Oh, it's, is, this, <clears throat> is this where we're going now? No, it's, it's a very specific kind of ad. It's the kind that is not actually very long, but it's unskippable. And then at the end of the ad, it just especially frustrates me on mobile. At the end of the ad, stays there for a while, like giving you a link to click on yeah, instead of little... actually going on to the video. Okay. If I was watching a YouTube video while I was cooking or doing something else and didn't have my phone in my hand, like actively watching, it would just stay up. That's really tough. Yeah, it's okay, but you know, we fixed that now. Technology. YouTube premium, beep, beep, boop, boop. Ads, speaking of ads, uh, YouTube actually just emailed creators and said that we're not gonna have control over what kinds of ads go on our videos anymore. Oh yeah. Whether it's unskippable or skippable or whatever. So if you like see more ads, and more ads you can't skip. I unfortunately have no fucking say in that anymore. So just FYI, yeah. I don't know. I don't know when they're rolling. Or that if they're out, like in RA ads or something like that. Oh, I mean, I already don't have control over that. Yeah. But I just won't be able to skip them if they do happen. <laughs> on that note, I'm gonna go do what the good capitalist lord put on my soul and spirit today. I'm gonna go spend some fucking money. <laughs> Hello my friends, happy Friday. Uh, I'm back on my dumb bitch bullshit, how about we say that? I am about to head to Home Goods to look at things. I have made some interesting home purchase decisions recently, home good purchases. Here's here's the deal, okay? I'm coming to terms with the fact that we are probably going to be in this house longer than we would like. And that sounds as if we hate our home or that like we really are desperate to leave. That's not really the case. We just have figured out things over time that we like and don't like. And I think a lot of people figure that out when they, you know, buy a house, um, especially if it's like a starter home, quote unquote. Again, makes it sound like I don't like my house or I'm not grateful to have a house. I'm very fucking grateful. I wanna point that out. All this to say, I have been considering like design choices and things that would make our home more functional and more akin to what I would like. You can always make the best of uh, any situation, I think. And I really like our house, but certain layout things I don't love. Primarily our downstairs. I don't really like an open floor plan concept. I've figured out something about having the kitchen and the living room as just like one big open space. It's hard for it to feel cozy and comfortable in a place that I want to spend time. It's like 90% of the reason I spend time in my bedroom. I do just like being a bed girl for sure. I spend a lot of time on the couch because it just doesn't feel cozy and homey and like exactly how I want in there. I think aesthetically it's pretty, but I it just doesn't feel cozy and I'm trying to remedy like various different things in that whole like big one space whatever first thing that I did was I came up with this idea I had seen this online before to basically transform our kitchen island into a banquette seating situation island that we have has a bit of an overhang a bit of a lip and there is room for some bar stools in there but we don't have any bar stools because we also have a kitchen table and it felt weird to have both in the same area it's just a very small area so I was like brainstorming on ways to dining area Area more interesting. We brought the kitchen table and chairs with us from our first apartment. So it's not like uh, these were things that we bought for this home or anything. They just happened to like work okay in the space. I had this idea about what if we filled in the space under the island that has like this big open gap, maybe put some cabinets right there. You know, I, I know a lot of people do that. They have like cabinets on both sides of their island and put a banquette in front of that. So basically like a long bench couch kind of thing a rectangular table and then on the opposite side of the table like three chairs. And this done a few times. I'll like put some inspiration pictures right here. This is kind of what I was envisioning. And I was like, I think this would be a really good use of our space. I actually think it would give us like a little bit more room to maneuver around the table. It would make things feel cozier and homier. I really liked that idea. And it had me thinking about like what style I want things to be in. And I think my style is evolving, right? Like I think when I first moved into this place, it was very like farmhousey. I really like gray. The couch that I ended up purchasing and some of the other accessories definitely aren't farmhouse, but 
moving in an opposite direction now, not opposite, but like an adjacent direction. I've really been inspired by antiques recently. I love antiquing. I really love like a sort of French country style. Inspiration pictures here. This is kind of what I have been gravitating towards lately. I just want something that feels lived in, comfortable, authentic to me and like my personal style and taste. I, I don't want it to be too themed, you know? I don't want it to feel like, oh wow, this is a moment in time. Like this is, you know, 2018 farmhouse. I don't want it to feel like that, but I do, I'm moving in a different direction, I think. And I think that's kind of what I'm course correcting from actually is like buying into trends too much. So I think I'm going to be replacing my coffee table. I've been eyeing one that is also like an upholstered coffee table ottoman situation, but that looks a little bit more ornate and just a little bit like less country chic. I say that, like I want French country, but not like yeehaw, Texas, like coffee table. I don't think that's like my vibe anymore is what I'm saying. So anyway, I'm buying a new coffee table, I'm pretty sure, slash ottoman. Um, and I found one for a really, really good deal on Pottery Burns website, like open box. I think I'm gonna do that, pull the trigger on that. I'm just doing other things around my home to make like small changes. I'm not here to like get a new couch or like get huge new pieces of furniture. I tried to be strategic when I bought things in the first place. If I was gonna invest a lot of money in, I would keep forever or keep for a very long time. So I'm keeping my couch. I'm working with the pieces I have and just switching out a couple of things. Um, like coffee table that we currently have, I got open box from Wayfair uh, when we moved into this house. So it's not really like a huge deal to replace that with something new, but I don't know. Uh, these are my ramblings. These are the things that are going on in my head. One thing that I really would like to change out as well is the mirror in our bedroom. Our bedroom is kind of an interesting mix of like modern, contemporary, like what is it? What, is, what do they call it? Organic modern? Like a mix of organic modern with antique -y kind of stuff. I think it would be cool to have like a more ornate or just interesting floor length mirror in the corner right now. It's from Ikea. I, I love it. I think it's pretty. It just doesn't necessarily fit the vibe, which is interesting. Like I think the furniture pieces in there are modern but like the accessories around are not so I think it would be nice to have a slightly different mirror. I noticed some pretty mirrors when I was at Home Goods last time so I am going to be seeing if they still have any in stock and just, you know, keeping an eye out on things. My sister is going to purchase this Ikea mirror or she was planning on purchasing this same Ikea mirror, so I'll just give her mine if I find something that I like. So anyway, there, there's, there's a plan in place for everything and I'm just feeling inspired. And should I be reading the like 15 million books I need to read? Sure, but like it's the freaking weekend and I wanna have some fun. So I'm gonna do that, come home, do some reading and then go to the movies with Hayden. So anyway, it's a good Friday, it'll be fun. I am planning on starting Morbidly Yours tonight, so I will keep y'all posted on that and I'll keep you posted on my home goods adventure as well. I don't know if I'll film in there, but uh, I'll show you if I get anything cool. Hello friends, from me and my new mirror. I know I told you that I would tell you if I got anything haul wise and I got this mirror. It was under 200 bucks and it's nice like wood. Is it teak? I don't know, but it's pretty. And it kind of reminds me of the mirror that I used to have in here over my dresser before we put a TV above the dresser. So two thumbs up. I'm glad that I went. I didn't see this one last time that I went, but it was the one of the only mirrors left and it was literally just perfect. I like it. I think it fits the space better. Now I can give the other mirror to my sister, which actually makes me happy. I'm mother, if you will. Like I just, I like buying my sister things. <laughs> anyway, I am here to pop in to tell you about Bottoms, to tell you about the book that I'm reading and to just tell you some of my thoughts and feelings and just like how this week is going. <laughs> Bottoms was so fucking good. If you have access to it, like you can go see it in theaters, please go see it. Go support writers and directors and actors. Like it was just so fucking good. I really, really, really enjoyed it. Hayden enjoyed it too. He was laughing. I have to say, I think collectively both of us, Alamo Draft House used to be so, so, so good. And I'm sad that the food quality has declined so much, but that being said, like, it's still a fun experience. I mean, going to the movies was a fun experience. I'm glad we did it. I'm glad I just kind of like did that on a whim. Just like my kind of comedy. It was fast paced. It's just perfect. It, you should go see it. You should go see it if you haven't seen it. If you haven't heard of it, go look it up, watch a trailer. It was a great movie. I also started Morbidly Yours. I'm like 10% in. I was going to wait until I got to the 20% mark to update you. I've been reading on my Kindle, but I I didn't. I didn't get to 20%. All right. It's about our two characters, Lark and Callum. Lark is moving or has moved to Ireland from Texas. She is going to be like the lead project person, lead animator on this movie, which is super, super cool. I'm fucking terrible at talking about books. Have we, have we talked about that? I think it's because my brain is just like fixated on other things right now, but Lark is this like upbeat personality and her husband, I think recently passed away. So she's kind of grieving. She's like 28, I think like pretty young still. She meets Callum next door. He is an undertaker. I don't, what is an undertaker? Even a real, like, is that a, is that a real position or is that just something that like, 
is slang. I don't know. He's a mortician. He like embalms people. So yeah, he is trying to keep the family business afloat. His dad is trying to take it away from him. It's a family run business. His grandfather recently passed away. He has to get married if he wants to keep the business in the family and not have his dad sell it out from under him. So I think he's going to probably proposition Lark to marry him. And I like that. It sounds fun. I like the setting. Uh, the characters seem nice. It's not like blowing my mind so far, but it's cute. It's cute enough and it's keeping me entertained. So love that. What I'm now loving is life right now. Why is life lately such a roller coaster? I hate having like a really like high high in one vlog and then the next vlog it's like a low low and it's frustrating because it's like I can't go into details. I don't want to go into details. I am just not having the best time. <laughs> I'm just really not having the best time. Generalize to simplify things. I got news about news if that makes sense. It's not fertility related. Just some like big fucking rain cloud is above my head and it is overwhelming me because I don't know if it's going to rain or if the sun is going to shine again soon. And I think that's the hardest fucking part about life sometimes is like knowing that you're not in control of everything. And I think that's just my lesson of the fucking year. It's like I'm not in control of everything and I don't like that so much. I don't, I don't love it. I, I you know, I hate to be, I hate to be vague in general. I'll have answers soon for these things and may or may not be able to share information with you, but I'm just like not having the best time. And then um, I guess we can throw in a fertility update here. I still have not started my period. I was supposed to start on Wednesday, supposed to start of PCOS when the fuck is a period really supposed to start. I don't think I'll be like concerned unless I don't start by Monday. Like if I haven't started on Monday, I'll be like a little concerned. The good news is I was like kind of panicking about what happens if I start at the weekend because I'm supposed to like start taking birth control on whatever day I start my period, but it's apparently not that big of a deal. So whatever. That's stressing me out too. I just like, I wish... Like I said, I, I don't even know that I wish that I could share things. I, I don't want to have to share the things that I'm like dealing with right now, but I'm just like, it sucks and it is is frustrating to me. The interesting thing, and I don't know if this is like a good instinct or a bad instinct, but whenever shit starts to go wrong in other aspects of my life or things are scary, I think my instinct is to just lean into this. And I think I like that. I feel, I, I do. I like that this is my safe haven and that this is like what I have built for myself and I'm proud of that and I like it a lot, yeah. I don't know where I would be and like what kind of person I would be if I didn't have YouTube. This is getting like strangely philosophical and like <laughs> sad and like whatever. I want to say thank you, I suppose. I'm also like sorry, I guess, if we're not putting my all into this over the past like six months to a year. Obviously it's been hard with all the things that have been thrown my way, but I'm just so grateful for all of you who like continue to show up even when my videos aren't as great or you know, I'm not providing the stuff that you necessarily want. And maybe I'm like targeting this message at the wrong audience because the those of y'all who watch these videos are like my, you know, my people. Something I would really love from y'all is um, in the comments, if you're watching, let me know what sorts of things you would like to see from me. Um, and I know some of y'all have been saying you've really enjoyed these videos. These are not going anywhere. Like I have no intention of stopping the vlogs, but I really would like to have a more well-rounded channel again. Like I want to create more book content or just like more content in general that y'all want to see, like whatever that may be. Um, if there's anything you've just been missing lately from my channel, I would love to know. Um, and I will not take offense if you're, if you told me I don't like the vlogs, that's fine. I'm still doing them, but I won't take offense. I feel like I've kind of lost my way a little bit. And again, I think, I think when things get hard, I lean into this and I want to like really fucking go in and like make some cool shit while I'm like sad, worried, whatever. I'm, I'm in a weird headspace right now, but I am trying to sort of like put all of that aside because the things that are on my mind are not things that I have any control over. So it's like, why fret about them now when you can fret about when they actually happen? You know what I mean? Like when, the day of is when I can allow myself to panic, right? I shouldn't panic now. Game plan for the next couple of days is just to read my little heart out and just enjoy where I'm at right now because nothing bad has happened yet. Have some fun you know? I think tomorrow I'm going to wake up and enjoy a nice homemade chai. I think I am going to cuddle with my cats and I think we're going to hang out. I'm looking forward to it. I hope y'all are too. And I will, I'll take you along if we do anything fun over the next couple of days. Hello my friends, happy Sunday. I am here to let you know where I was yesterday and what I'm up to today. Yesterday I had a really good time. Uh, it was really nice to not be on camera and not read at all. But not that I've been doing much reading anyway, but uh, that's besides the point. I went to Home Goods with my little sister. We found some art for above her couch in her new apartment and just other like various homewares for her apartment. It was really fun getting to like provide my opinion, watch someone else buy things. I myself did not end up buying anything, which is probably for the best. Like I didn't need anything for the house. So we did that and then we came home, hung out, Hayden made us dinner. We also watched some football and the football game was immaculate. As a Texas fan, we beat Alabama, which was you know, just exactly what I needed, I feel like yesterday. So um, yeah, it was overall a really, really great day. Another thing that happened before I like did all of that stuff 
stuff around noon. I ended up picking up a new table with Hayden for our kitchen. Like I told you, I kind of had some like harebrained schemes on what I wanted to do in the kitchen. I don't think I told you that I've already purchased a banquette for the kitchen. So like that's definitely happening. It is like custom upholstered. It was on sale at Ballard Designs, I think. I bought that already. It's coming in December. And I was like, okay, I'm just gonna like kind of put my feelers out, kind of figure out what's out on the market for tables. Cause I kind of had inspiration and knew what I wanted. I wanted like a turned leg rectangular table. So I got on Facebook Marketplace and I found one for a really, really good price. I believe it is solid wood. I'm not entirely sure. It might have a veneer on top, but it was 175 and I had Venmo credit. So it was basically free you know, girl math. Uh, so I ended up just like picking it up with Hayden, like on a whim, grabbed it. And now it is in our garage. It's like this really dark, almost like black stain on it, uh, really glossy. And I'm gonna try to see if I can kind of sand it down and make it more of like a weathered wood look. If not, I think I'll either paint it black or paint it white or try to distress it myself. I know that's like a lot of options. I I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with it. I do need to do some sort of like exploratory prep work first, but I'm very excited about this project. I'm probably gonna start in on it next week at next week's vlog. So very much looking forward to that, honestly. I think it'll be a fun project for me. I have just really been craving like getting my hands dirty recently. I think that's part of the reason that I've like been in my DIY Chan era. Like I just really desperately want to do things that aren't just my typical. Like I don't want to just read and do Pilates and like stay at home all day. Like I want to like move around, go outside, do things with my hands. And is it too hot to be outside? Yes. So I guess the best I can do is like sit in my garage, which is also hot as fuck and sand this uh, table down. So anyway, I'm hyped about it. I'm excited to kind of take you along with me for that. And yeah, that's kind of what I did yesterday. Today, I really don't know what the game plan is. I am um, admittedly a little bit slumpy, a little bit behind on things. And I feel like I've been that way for the past couple of weeks. I'm getting stuff done, but I also don't feel really that great about it. I didn't end up getting to post my Patreon exclusive reading vlog because I haven't read for it. So I need to do that over the next like few days. I haven't started in on my age gap vlog, which is supposed to go live on Wednesday. I didn't post a video today. So, you know, I'm not feeling super great. And I feel like I need to come up with a game plan to get back on track. I think the good news is that by not posting a vlog today, I will have like two vlogs in my arsenal. So like I'm ahead of schedule technically <laughs> if I like pretend like I wasn't going to post today, but I feel like I need to like actually buckle down and just kind of figure out a new game plan for myself. I think I'm just constantly slightly unsatisfied with whatever plan I come up with and maybe my plans for myself are too strict, but I think it would be nice to come up with like a weekly schedule that works for me again and give me something to like look forward to, like a treat or a cookie or a toy or a reward of some kind for myself, you know? You get all your shit done, you get to do this as a treat. And I feel like I'm saying this and I feel like the implication is that I don't like what I do and I, I definitely do, but sometimes even when you enjoy doing things, you don't want to do those things. I feel like I'm just overwhelmed with the other life stuff that's going on, like I kind of like hinted at earlier on in the vlog, but uh, I think my game plan for today is to uh, sit down with Hayden and kind of like talk about our goals for the month. He did such a good job last month. This is something that we've like kind of talked to each other about and kind of goes with what I've been talking about. For the past few months, we had been talking about like sitting down and planning out goals for ourselves so we can keep each other accountable. And his goal for August was to walk the dogs every day and to exercise every day. And he nailed it. I don't even fucking remember what my goal was because I didn't keep myself accountable, nor did he keep me accountable, I guess. Not that it's like his responsibility, but I think I would like to revisit that idea for September and then also kind of like come up with a game plan. Come up, come up with my schedule. I love planning things, so maybe that will like break me out of my thing here, kind of paralyzed in fear. I'm not doing anything sort of mood. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. I've never seen a blue Kia soul. It's your first time for everything. I feel like they're typically like a really gross, like baby puke green. You know what I mean? Y'all, we've got a, we've, not, we've got a new co-pilot in the back. I'm loving how I look on this new lens, specifically probably just in the car from this angle. I mean, it's not great for any of us, but mm. I'm here to close out the vlog and tell people that I don't know how to read books. We all need that. It runs in the family. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I did not finish Morbidly Yours. I don't know. I liked the idea of it, you know, Texas girl meets Irish mortician, mm -hmm. but I don't know. I feel like the romance is moving a little too quickly for my liking and I might pick it back up at some point, but I just like didn't feel like I really needed to finish it expeditiously. Irish mortician, huh? Uh-huh. She walks in and she's like, hey, these body bags got delivered to the wrong place. Mm -hmm. What a joke. And he's like, no, like I really like embalm people. It's like, what's your body count? <laughs> you trying to add one? You got anything to say, Spencer? Do you know Do how to even see me? <laughs> yeah, if Chandler moves her gigantic head <laughs> out of the way. She give him bobble head. 
I mean, if you just like put your head in the middle, they can see you. I am in the middle. Yeah, they can. It's just like that's beautiful. Next week, you will see me packing for Disney. Spencer is going to be watching our cats. That's why she's here. So, meow. I'm gonna keep a real good eye on I them. I can I'm just sure. feel that. Yeah. She also brought her cats, so um, if we're lucky, she'll send us some beautiful footage of all six of the boys playing. You really are like strapping. You're you're gearing up for a real harrowing week. Yeah. What's that like? I just like, I'm so curious. Imagine being me. employed. Couldn't be me. <laughs> On that note, <laughs> love you all so much. Thanks so much for watching and uh, stay tuned next week. It'll be fun. Funner. Funner, huh?